Hello guys, it's your girl A. Marie from A. Marie Full Lace Wig. Goddess Lily, I'm done with your uh, frontal piece. And I left uh, some uh, hair out for you to actually um, put your own lining in like we discussed that you wanted to do. But I wanted you to know, it is not your fault that the hair was falling kind of in its own direction. What was happening is that you're dealing with hair that's on a track. And by you dealing with hair that's on a track, the hair on the track, the root is still connected within. So by the root still being connected to the track, what's happening is the hair is going in any direction that it wants to. Like a study falling with that gap, the one that you was uh, explaining about. So what I did, I was having the same problem that you had. So what I did, I stopped ventilating with uh, that track hair. And I took some Indian Remy bulk hair that I had and start, you know, using the Indian Remy bulk hair. And I noticed that. When I changed the method to the bulk hair, I was getting it to, I was I was more in control of the way the hair parted, the way the hair laid, the way it fall. When I changed the method to, now I'm like all over the place. When I changed it to the, the bulk hair, started track hair. That's why I do not ventilate with track hair at all. So I finished the piece, but I changed the front out and I made it to work with, the bulk hair. So it's kind of falling in any direction now that I want it to from me using the bulk hair versus the track hair. So it is done and I will be in LA. So I figure, you know, me and you talked on the phone. I would just bring it to you when I get to LA. So I just wanted you to know that it wasn't your fault. It's the fact that you're dealing with track hair and it kind of got a mind of its own and it's going to fall in the direction that it want to fall in. It's been, you know, on the track and up in a package and forever. And then it gets so, it's hard to kind of tame it and get it to go in that direction. But like I said, I changed out and uh, I did it, you know, with the bulk loose hair. So she's done she's done but you you did a great job hon so i just wanted you to know that was definitely not your problem okay another thing i wanted to bring to you guys this is a book a must-have book the name of the book is don't lose your client because they're losing their hair this is a hair information educational guide about a hair alternative this is by gloria ford and she goes by the name of Gigi. guys this is a must-have book I was blessed to get this book, and like I say, I am a ventilator, but there's a lot of things about um, density that I was a little confused on because I was self-taught, so, um, you know, I control the density by my needle, and I also use a scale, so that pretty much controls my density, but she goes over everything within this book, guys, from... Um, the density, the baby hair, the materials you can use to um, bulk hair, to track hair, to the hair molds, um, making toupees. Um, it's, this book is just full, full, full of helpful, 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 helpful information. I think to anybody that wants to be a ventilator and... This is your whole in and out. I've, I've read different books. I've looked at Demore Brothers and other companies. I wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed. I'm like, oh, okay, you know. But I was very, 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 very impressed with this book. And I feel that this can help you guys a lot. So I will leave the number or her website where you guys can check it out. But I learned a lot. I'm still actually reading it. And I just, I, I was real impressed. Um... From light density to the baby hair to heavy density to just, I don't know, it's so full of information. Like, um, I find a lot of different things to read in here. So I just kind of wanted you guys to know that. And then, guys, going over your lining. When you guys get the caps from me, you put them on. And your hair needs to be flat back like this. That's why I got my hair flat, flat, flat. So when you put on a cap, you're putting on a cap... And then you pull it down flush. So it shouldn't be no gaps or nothing up there. You pull it down. And then I don't even think I got a, a marking that's ready to go. But then I always start from the ear and then trace out my hairline. Trace out my hairline. And I pretty much go from there. So those is, that is the way 
that you'll trace out your lining when you get these pre-made caps from me. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So thank you guys for watching A. Marie Full Lace Wig. Like I said, I will be in, excuse me, L.A. Uh, soon. Gone for a week, guys. But I'm take my work with me. So I will be working. But God is literally, I'm done. And um, I'll bring it to you when I get to L.A. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.